Welcome back, girls and boys. From our last lesson, we were learning how to do spreadsheets. We learned how to create a workbook, how to work in a worksheet that we renamed Term 1, how to merge cells, how to use the autofill function, and how to type in data. Today, we are going to complete the entry of data. Okay, I'm just going to make some adjustments to those marks because please remember that the marks are out of 50. And then I'm going to show you how to use symbol functions. Now, say suppose that your teacher knows that she gave you a mark out of 50 for the first test and a second mark, the maximum mark was 50. So the total will be 100. Now it's fine if there's future in the class, your teacher can use the calculator. But the reason for a spreadsheet is to make our task that much easier. So today I'm going to show you how to use the sum function. So you go equal to sum, round bracket, and it requires a cell address of the two numbers that you're adding. For instance, I want to add the 50 to the 50 to give me a maximum mark for, the, for both the tests to be out of 100. So the first 50 is stored in a cell called D4. So I type out D4 and I put in a semicolon. And the second one that I'd acquire is stored in E4. So I type out E4 and I close my bracket and enter. And the answer is 100. Now for the rest of the children, I do not need to add the marks by doing the function. All I do is go back to the cell 100 where the, where the function is. I go to the right corner where the plus is and I drag it down and it automatically will give me the values. So if I go to the second child, uh, first child, sorry, which is Lamini Blessing, his mark is 86. And what, what did the computer do or this program do rather? It took D5, right, which is the... 43, and the second test, the child had 43 again, and then he stored in E5, and therefore the answer is 86. And likewise, you can check the all the rest of the children, the values will be their correct values from, from test one and test two. So that's how we do the sum. Now, if your teacher also wanted to find out the average of the class, all they would have to do, I'll just put a label here called average, I can bold it. I can even um, put in some color for it just to be different. And all I do here is write down equal to. The last time, last function we used, we used was sum. So to find average, we use the word average, but we put an equal to sign, then we type out average, open bracket. Now the average is all the data of the children, not the maximum mark. So it's from 86 to 46. Be careful not to include the 100. Remember the 100 was the maximum total that a child would get. And close the bracket and enter. And there we get an answer of 60.2. In our further lessons, I will teach you how to round up and round down your functions. But for now, we we'll leave the answer as 60.2. Okay, so the next thing I would require you to do is to actually practice what we've just learned. So from your textbook, girls and boys, you will turn to page 173 and you will do activity seven, questions one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm sure you will enjoy this application. Thank you, see you next time.